become one of the most annoying things ever? Self-righteous climate protesters strapping themselves, gluing themselves, or just parking their big fat annoying asses down on roads to block traffic and stop people from getting to where they need to go to, all in the name of climate change. I'm here because if you have a possibility to speak up and to take action, I think that is your, your duty. And so we put our bodies in front of the oil tankers and to block them from getting into the port and, and thereby we also stop um, the fossil fuel industry from from operating that right there. What are they really accomplishing? Pissing off the general public. People who need to get from A to B for a living, like truck drivers, taxis, or what about ambulances? Rushing off to try and save someone in distress. Or just people in general, going out to get groceries because they're taking care of someone at home. People driving family members to hospitals. Just everyone, really. But no. These dickheads need to sit their asses down in the middle of the road, blocking traffic, stopping people from going about their daily lives and you think that's going to make them take a second out of their day and think, hmm, this isn't annoying me at all. Climate change, you're right, because this demonstration of protest hasn't given me the shits at all. I will no longer associate the issue of climate change with negative feelings. No, the next time I think of climate change it's going to be extremely positive and I won't remember about how I was stuck in traffic for fucking hours and my whole day was disrupted. Hang on a minute, let me go and sell my car and drive a bicycle everywhere. Oh, wait a minute, can't do that. Not until you get your ass out of the road so I can move my car. You get my point. So is it no wonder that we're finally seeing people who've had enough? People taking action and dragging these shits out of the road. And I, for one, am all for it. Moment Brisbane truck driver drags climate protesters across road. Based. Based as fuck truck driver. Do the damn thing. Drag their asses out of the road. This is actually quite close to where I live. A truck driver has been praised for dragging climate protesters across a road they had blocked, while others have slammed his actions. Who the fuck is slamming his actions? Who would be against that? It's not like he king hit them and then started dragging them across the road. It's not like he was being violent. I wouldn't be slamming his actions. Personally, I'd be praising his actions if he accidentally slammed one of those little shits into the barrier in the middle of the road. A truck driver has been caught on camera dragging climate protesters along the ground after they blocked a busy motorway. The Brisbane truck driver took matters into his own hands after Blockade Australia members caused traffic chaos on the port of Brisbane motorway on Wednesday. The traffic jam had made work workers irate as traffic was held up for hours by the protesters for the third day in a row. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. See, I didn't even know this was happening three days in a row. So they've tested their patience once, twice, three times. Strike! You're out, motherfucker! Get out of the fucking road! Three days in a row! I'm surprised it didn't happen much earlier than that. I really don't understand why they're allowed to do this. Uh, it's just a peaceful protest. We're just gonna let them go about their business while they stop other people from going about their business. We're not gonna remove them for hours on end. We'll just let them sit there, being little shits, so they don't even feel discouraged about coming back two days in a row after that to do the same thing over again. Drag their asses. Drag their asses. The truck driver in question walked over to the group of five balaclava-clad protesters. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? They're always wearing balaclavas. And began dragging them by their clothing across the road. Some of the protesters scrambled back to the driver's side of the road while others remained splayed on the ground. Yeah, they do that, don't they? They just let you drag them and then they crawl back to their spot so they can keep being disruptive little shits over and over again. They're bloody annoying. His actions were made with praise by some 
um, with one man saying he wanted to buy him a beer, buy the man a slab of beer. Love it. Hope they are lenient on the truck drivers. We are just trying to get to work. Get off our publicly owned roads and protest somewhere legally. One person commented on a video of the incident. Don't blame them. I'm all for a protest, but you can't stop traffic like that. These events cost everyday people money, jobs, time. Stupid protest and very selfish, another said. Yeah, it is bloody selfish. And what are they changing? They're not changing anything. Like I said before, they're just giving everyone a bad taste when it comes to the subject of climate change. If I was stuck in my car for hours on end, for three days in a row, every time I hear about climate change thereafter, I'd just get the absolute shits. It'd just boil my piss. And if I had the money, I'd go out and buy an acre of land and fill it full of fucking cows, feed them beans and make sure they fart all the time, while I drive around and herd them all day in my big ass hummer. Others praised the protesters' actions, saying they were doing their part to end climate change. They're not doing shit. They're not doing shit but pissing everyone off. And here's an image of the shits using their cars to block the road, with a sign saying, Australia exports climate disaster. Hashtag blockade Australia. That's got to be one of the most retarded things I've ever heard. Hashtag blockade Australia. Uh, yeah, uh, let's just blockade every road in Australia and bring our economy to a crippling halt. And further Furthermore, I'd like to know, did they drive those two cars to get to that point so that they could protest? Could have taken one car, not two. Could have walked there. You talk a big game, but your actions say otherwise. Anyway, let's take a quick look at this video. Oh, here we go. We got this mad cunt in the orange vest dragging this guy out of the road. Move. Move, you little shit. I'll slam you into the barrier. And here we go. Now we got some others coming to join in and help him. Drag his ass. Drag his ass. Yep, drag you by the hoodie, you little shit. Get off of the road. <laughs> Look at this legend in the back climbing over the barrier to help out. Get him. Hey, mate, need some help? Yep, come help me drag a cunt. Sick. Yeah, you fuck off. Now you fuck off too, you can get fucked. You fuck right over there. Come on, mate, bring your truck through. <laughs> Perfect. Perfection. And there you can see the two cars blocking the road further up as well. I hope that truck just rams the shit out of those cars. Nuisance. They're absolute nuisance. I hate these little shits. I really do. Blockade Australia. Thank you for sending such a strong message about Australians export of fossil fuels that will just make the climate crisis worse for all life on our beautiful earth, one said. Yeah, that's not the message that's getting across. The message you're getting across is you're a pain in the ass. Fuck your cause. You've disrupted my day. And now I could give two shits if I already didn't about the plight of stopping Australian exports of fossil fuels for the benefit of the environment. The environment can go suck my dick. Great job, L's. So anyway, that was my take on the whole situation. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check me out at Twitter. And I also upload to BitChute and Rumble and Odyssey, if that's more your thing. Tits out, everyone. Ah!